Thank you very much for aiding me with this project. It's important that we know if the library has indeed fully returned. Yeah, well, it's good if I stay busy. Keeps my mind off things. Uh, the others? The others? Well, Jones is pretending he's fine, and Cassandra ain't pretending at all. The library, when it rearranged itself, it really screwed itself up. There were, there were rooms that were upside down. There were three rooms that changed color. One room was inside out. I don't ask. Do you have the, um, you have the key to the locked door? Mm, there is no key. It's always been locked. Mr. Costa and I have tried to gain entry many times. There's a sign on the door that says you have the key. There's no sign on that door. See? That has never been visible before. Some kind of copper alloy. Well, oxidation is what turns copper green. I mean, the Statue of Liberty used to be all shiny, and then it oxidized. If you hit a message in a copper alloy that blends itself with the surrounding metals, it wouldn't be able to detect it until it oxidized. Nice trick. Time delay metallurgic cryptography. Yeah, but it's a lot of time. Statue of Liberty took two decades to turn green. This must have taken... Centuries? Message from the past, hidden. Not visible until this very moment. Sound familiar? Jenkins, the key is in your guardian's name. You don't have a guardian. Of course I do. Eve Baird. to give Eve credit for this one. I'm sorry for you two to be trapped here in my time. Look at the bright side. Save the world. They're probably putting a statue of us up at the library. Winter's Tale. You turned Hermione into a statue. And then and, and Prospero did the same thing with the quill and the staff. We can travel through time? If anybody can time travel just in one direction, I'll need you to use your pen one last time. We created the spell to open the door, prepared the plaque as our alchemical alarm clock, packed the clues that you would need to exercise Prospero. Then, past me, wrote future me the letter I knew I would discover myself in the future, or now the past future. I really hate time travel. Shakespeare used his magic pen one last time, writing the story of how a dashing librarian and a gorgeous guardian were transformed into a statue to be awoken by the sound of Cassandra's voice. And then he shipped us to the library labeled as dangerous artifacts, along with a letter explaining how to magically seal us in. Just your average slice of incredibly complex puzzle cake. Oh. <laughs> Do we miss anything? I mean, other than 400 years. Dinosaurs are back. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> Jones, magical crime. Stone, legends, history come to life, things that go bump in the night. Cassandra, how science and math interact with magic. Math and magic. Never going to be a thing. Give me a theoretical framework. I want action plans, incident reports, weekly updates, and cross-references. You all know what you're capable of. Let's do this. OK, boys, there's still a lot of rooms in this place that we haven't checked out. So I say we set up here, and then my lab can go here. Finally, permission to steal anything we want. This is what you got from that speech. Subtext, mate. <laughs> 